hi welcome back so this particular topic we are going to talk about setting up professional payslip with free software so i've given you the uh, the theoretical part of it here you have to study at your own pace all right so um there is this one they call uh, uh payroll two kids payroll two kit is sold by professionals like accountants okay so where they will have their where, where they will give you a standard uh, a, a, a payroll toolkit that you use to do your staff uh, staff pay slip. So when they give you this, then you can now calculate. Here we are going to jump into the pro, uh, practical section of it um, to avoid wasting your time. So the things that you can find in this payroll toolkit, you have payroll software, you have employee information form, you have uh, tax tables. They will provide all these payroll calendar direct deposit authorization forms, time and attendance tracking tools, deduction authorization form, you know, compliance guidelines, you know. So um, when you purchase the um, payroll toolkit, it comes, like everything comes with it, okay? So um, we are going to just go straight and learn how to generate uh, paisley for staff using a free software. So there is a method of setting up this software, which I have highlighted here. I don't really want to um, take your time so you study at your own pace and all of that so there are there are some softwares commonly used for this particular pay sleep generation so um, the first one is a uh, uh, manager.io the second one is Google sheet or Google Microsoft Excel so when you both Google sheet and Microsoft Excel are spreadsheet programs that can be used to create uh, customize space sleep users can design templates input data and perform calculate uh, calculations easily yes so um there are oh, so many other ones but we are going to jump into uh, manager.io uh, we are going to jump into manager.io that is why i i added the website there for easy access you already know how to access other ones just go to google like we are going to do now so we type uh, manager.io you see um we click and it will show so immediately uh manager.io shows you click on free download see you just click on it has cloud edition of it when you click on free download um it will show you whether you are using windows mac online anyone you are using just click on it you click on download and it will start downloading so after downloading it will take you to a place like this this is what you are going to see they are asking you to add business so what do you do you add the name of your company okay so the name of your company let's say i've already typed some things here that i deleted so instead of typing i will just create let's say cheap toasty for example then we click on create new business and um cheap toasty will be created for us so after creating this you can see this pointing to you to click on customize when you click on customize all you need to do is to look out for where you will see employees and payslip like an employees payslip you click then come down and create update so after creating this you come to settings when you go to settings then you upload your business logo you upload your business logo right so let's say this is my business logo i will just click it's showing here I'll just click on update. Then I click on update. I will now go here and click to settings. When I click to settings, you go back to business details. When you go to business details, you put the name of your company again, Chip Toss T. Then address. Let's say I live at number one of the Megu Ojuku. That is my business address, rather. Admego Juku Road. Um Omwa here. Omwa here. Abia. You can come down here. Omwa here. Abia. Abia State. Nigeria. That's the business. This is it. You know, this may not exist. It doesn't exist. It's just. For illustration purpose so you already know our country is nigeria so you click an update and it will update so after this you just go to employees 
you click on employees then click on new employees let's we are going to use two employees here to avoid taking our time so the first is a manuel udom okay the address we are going to use the person's position in the company let's say emmanuel udom is our manager and the email address is maud at maud at gmail.com all right so what do we do we create to add another so the second person let's say the second person is anna woko anna woko let's say anna is our cashier i don't want to start so Anna's email address is anna n at yahoo.com this does not exist it's just an example so this code here is optional but let's say Anne is employer employee one you can just put this but it is not necessary i don't like putting it so it depends on how you staff your so we are creating just two to avoid wasting time so we just create and click on employee you see when we click on employee you discover that we have um, um we have about two two employees there so what do we do next we click on settings so when we click on settings it will show us pay slip items we click on pay slip items then there are three things we are going to work on here the first one is pay slip earnings pay slip earnings is like the best staff basic salary transportation allowance housing allowance feeding allowance wardrobe allowance it depends on the the total stuff the person the employee is earning then you have a pay slip deduction items pay slip deduction item is what are you deducting from this staff salary at the end of the month? We are, are you deducting tax, which is the, about 7.5%? Are you deducting, uh, let's say, um, is there anything like staff loan? Is there anything like IOU? You know all those things. So this is it. Then another thing is pay slip contribution. What is this staff contributing? Maybe um, this staff is contributing pension. All right. So you calculate the percentage of the staff. A, 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 a monthly pension contribution and that's it okay let's start with a, a pay slip contribution all right okay let's say um, pay slip contribution um we have a staff contributed um contributed pension okay so you create and add another okay let's say this staff is also paying for health insurance okay let's say uh staff um contributed health health insurance all right so we click we are not adding any other thing to this one so we go back to pay slip items here so we've done a pay slip contribution item so what about deduction so when we click on deduction what are we deducting tax we are deducting tax we create and add another there is staff loan there is staff loan and um, what else what else can we deduct okay let's say the staff um, damages like let's say when the staff comes to work late there is a particular amount deducted from the salary and all of that let's do like that then we create you see so here we have created the uh, three things here so the last one is a uh, uh, pay slip uh, earnings pay slip earning item so the things the staff and every month let's say basic <coughs> basic um salary we create and add another um let's say housing allowance we pay housing yeah these are assumptions so when you set up your organization or working for organization they will provide you the information you need to put here so the next thing is a transport transport allowance okay you create and add another okay let's say you pay uh health allowance let's say there is no head chemo in the company you pay health allowance you pay health allowance all right then what else do you pay you pay 
wardrobe allowance okay wardrobe allowance for example all these are examples so when you are working for a company they will give you the right information okay let's do this last one feeding allow allowance okay so we we are not adding anything anymore so this is all we have created like two four six about six of them here so what do we do next um, we have created these three things here um, we have created this we have created this and we have created this so the next thing we are going to do now is to generate the payslip so what do we do we click on payslips all right so when we click on payslip we click on new payslip so now let's say we are going to generate january let's say january payslip okay that's the description J january 2024 pay sleep all right so uh, the employees name let's start with Ann Woko um, her earnings basic salary then the next thing is feeding you'll be clicking on add line so it will be coming up for you we do health we click on add line again we do housing we click on add line again we do transport right then we click on add line again the last one which is wardrobe allowance so the description is optional okay so that if you have anything to talk about here you can talk all right so um how much is this person uh paying uh, earning let's say Anne's basic salary is one thirty thousand one hundred and thirty thousand naira the feeding allowance is thirty thousand per month um the head allowance is let's say fifteen thousand per month. Um, housing allowance, let's say, is uh, twenty five thousand per month. And um, let's say transport allowance is thirty five thousand per month. And uh, wardrobe allowance, let's call it a uh, uh, let's say twenty thousand twenty thousand per month. You see. Um, the system has calculated everything for us okay let's just do one here one here one here one here one here it's not necessary but you can I don't just like leaving plant spaces but to save your time I would have filled up this place so the total uh, earnings for Anne is 255,000 the system automatically cal uh, calculates this for us okay when it comes to deduction what are we did that and didn't damage anything for the month so we are not going to do and did not take any loan and we are just taking a uh, tax let's say um and uh, we are taking seven thousand naira every month as tax this is an example so you are going to you know uh, uh, normally our tax is 7.5 percent okay then when it comes to contribution uh staff contributed health insurance let's say and contributes let's say um nine thousand naira monthly then what else is and contributing let's say pension and contributes uh ten thousand naira monthly pension okay so uh ten thousand naira monthly pension that's what and uh, contributes monthly all right so um the next uh uh we are going to Okay, we've done the contribution and this thing. So, the next thing we are going to do is to curate and add another. Let's say we create. Then the next person we are going to do for is, this is already month of January. Okay, we do January. We still describe it January. We are doing for another staff, right? January pay. Oh, sorry. January 2024 pay sleep for another staff. So the employee's name is Emma. All right. So Emma's earnings, let's say Emma as the manager earns, let's say, 180,000 per month. All right. Then Emma's uh, feeding allowance, let's say, is uh, 30,000 per month. This is just an example. I hope you know that. 
okay so another one is a mass health allowance which is a let's say fifteen thousand naira per month so when you are working with the real data you now know the real stuff to add so the next thing we are going to do is housing let's say the mass housing per month is uh let's say 60 sixty thousand per month this is just as an assumption all right then we add line it hasn't finished after housing we have transport allowance let's say a mass transport allowance is uh, 45,000 naira monthly okay so um, the next thing is a uh, we mass wardrobe allowance as the manager all right let's say mass wardrobe allowance is let's say 30 30,000 naira monthly all right so this is it okay the next thing we are going to do is deductions let's say a man didn't come work for three days and we are taking six thousand out you understand three days absent okay so um the next thing is what else are we deducting from me? My mom didn't take any staff room. Let's assume. Then the tax. Let's say we are deducting, uh, let's say, uh, 15,000 Naira tax from a mom's uh, salary. So that means we are taking total of 21,000 Naira from a mom's salary. Okay? So um, the contributions. A mom contributes staff health insurance. Let's say a mom contributes 10,000 Naira for his health insurance then what else emma is contributing to emma is uh, contributing to pension of let's say uh, nine thousand nine thousand naira nine thousand naira every month all right so this is it so what do we do we just create these are the two stuff that we have so once we create look at um, this one is um, this one look at our company logo our company name our address the reference is January this was created on the 14th of uh, January 2024 for Emma Emma the manager so look at it the system has calculated everything so a mass net pay is a uh, uh, 339,000 naira um let's say let's um look at uh, um let's look at another staff uh which is a uh, hand okay so um we view hands own so this is hands own and takes a uh, 248,000 naira net monthly so what if we want to do um, another one for and let's say we want to do February Paisley for and so what do we do we come here and uh, we come here this is February 2024 let's just choose 15th of February we do the reference is February um, Paisley all you need to do here you come here and edit and put February February pay slip, all right. Um, February uh, pay slip. So if there's anything you are, uh, uh, you need to add or deduct, like when it comes to deduction, let's say and two clone for for the month of February, all right. And two uh, loan of seven thousand. Then you still took, uh, uh, you still took off. Uh, let's say staff uh, tax of the same amount seven thousand naira okay let's say and let's say and did not come to work for two days with no excuse or informing us so um we took off uh, let's say two days which is a uh, uh, four thousand naira that is two thousand naira per day so we've deducted eighteen thousand naira from as uh, february then the contribution remains the same all right so we we'll just create when we create uh, this uh, ends uh, February uh, 2024, look at the total pay. The net pay is 237,000. Her growth pay is 250, 255,000. Then after deducting this and uh, the damage of 4,000 Naira, 
we have a 237,000 naira net for arm. So this is how you do. Then you may say you want to you want to print or you want to download it. All you need to do is to click here. So um, when you click here, you know, you just download. Um, but I don't have any need to download this. I would have printed, clicked here, and I would just download. But I don't need this. So they are asking you how many copies you want to print and all of that. So this is it. Or maybe you can just email it. You know, you can just uh, email it. See, you just email it to to Anne. Okay, you just email it to. You just send it to e Anne via email and all of that. So there is no big deal on how to create slip as you can see this is all of them so you click here to view and this is the end of our class for how to make professional looking um, payslip okay so all you need to do is to go out there and start practicing all right just go out there and start practicing. and don't forget to read reading is very very important try as much as you can to read all our theories here it is very very important and they will help you to understand better all right see you in our next topic bye